Welcome to the show today on this cool day here in Winter Haven, Florida. It's our last day here visiting my husband's brother and I've had a great time and I just want to do my show. There's bugs flying around me. Florida, right? There's bugs. It's October 19th. I know it's somebody in my family's birthday. I think it's my one nephew's birthday. Anyway, or was it my brother John's birthday? Well, somebody in the family's birthday. There's so many in my family that they all run together because, you know, we share a lot of birthdays, you know, in the whole world. We're all born on a certain day. So the cranes are out back, and I was singing earlier, and they were listening to my singing. The cranes are fun. I decided to sit facing the backyard today. Let's see if I can adjust this any better. That fell down anyway. So, a little bit. It didn't fall off. Today's show, the topic is shopping at grocery stores all around the country. Now, I've been to grocery stores in Pennsylvania a lot because I was born and raised in Pennsylvania. And I've been to grocery stores in Missouri, the Midwest, because I lived there eight years in the Midwest in the state of Missouri. And I've been to grocery stores in Alabama because I live there now for almost a year. And I've been to grocery stores here in Florida a lot because we vacation down here because his brother lives here. And we I love the parks and my husband goes to the parks because I love them and he goes too. We've been to a grocery store in Texas when we went down to Galveston for our first cruise that we went on. And then other grocery stores or stores where you shop and have a grocery cart in different uh, states when we stop for some food or something on our travels. In, uh, sometimes we go through five or six states because to go from Missouri to Pennsylvania where my family of origin is, my siblings, most of them, they live in Pennsylvania. Do I have a sibling that doesn't live in Pennsylvania? No, I don't know why I said most of them live in Pennsylvania. Most of them live in um, the county near Hershey Park, uh, Lebanon County, where they make Lebanon bologna, and one lives in Berks County. That's why I said that. They mostly live in Pennsylvania, because they do all of my siblings that are still living, live in Pennsylvania. So the shopping thing. So shopping around the country. And I've been to Haiti, too. I went to Haiti in um, the early 2000s. And uh, the shopping there is quite different. And uh, it's a third world country. So third world country. So, yeah, the shopping was different. The prices were lower. And the things were different the way they had the shelves stocked and things like that. And you didn't really, I didn't see a grocery cart there, but... The show today is about shopping and not putting your grocery cart back because I was watching yesterday, we watched here, um, People's Court, The People's Court, and a woman had to pay out $700 because she didn't put her cart back and it rolled into someone's car and they were coming out to their car and they saw it whack into the side of their car and they got an estimation and he yelled, hey, and she said, yes, my cart did hit, but I didn't do it on purpose. Of course she didn't do it on purpose. She just was being lazy and didn't put her cart back. And then the judge ruled for the guy's car being definitely hit. And she did it, not on purpose, but she, it was her fault that the cart went there because she didn't put her cart back in the grocery cart return or back in the store. So she paid $700 for the damage to his door. That he had two or three estimates, I think. And the lower estimate was 700 and some dollars. So, I've been noticing more and more and more that when I go to a store, the carts are anywhere but back in the cart return or back in the store. They're in the grass. They're up on the curb. They're up on the sidewalk. They're right alongside the car that they parked next to. I've already gone back to my vehicle and the cart was right against, like within a half inch. Of my driver's side, not my driver's side, my passenger side door, because someone put their cart, they unloaded in their back seat probably, or on the side of their car, and or the back, and just pushed it up in there and left it alongside another vehicle. It's not that difficult. If you're handicapped, they have those 
jazzies or hover rounds that you can use for your vehicles, for your cart. You know, you can use that and then take it and then take it back in the store. Or if it's that bad, have someone that's with you or ask one of the employees to come and get the jazzy, that motorized uh, vehicle that you can use to grocery shop with. And um, it's not that difficult to push a cart back to a cart return or back into the front area of the store where the carts are kept. And I've never seen so many carts that aren't returned. Um, are we in that much of a hurry to get back to whatever we're doing? I don't know. Maybe it's you're on lunch break for work and you got to get back to work. There's always a reason there years ago because I'm 66. So I've been shopping a lot of years. Yeah, there was a cart here and there. But now you see it everywhere. There's carts just left alongside other vehicles up in the grass on a curb just pushed away from their car or left right in the center of the next parking space. So um, I'm just asking how difficult is it to return your grocery cart to either a cart return or back in the store. And I just noticed more and more that that's happening. So, you know, let's try to do the little things, you know, like make your bed every day. It's a small thing, but it's Something that you should do. At least try to put the covers up over. Well, I do mostly because my dog likes to lay on our bed. And I don't want her laying on our sheets, that's for sure. I put a blanket up there too. But if you're feeling depressed or down, you know, there's little things you can do. Help other people. To, you'll feel better about yourself if you help others. Or like uh, yesterday, some gentleman opened the door for me going into a store. Just a little store that I was going to. Um, one of those dollar stores he opened the door and I said thank you sir because that was so nice that someone opened the door for me we can do little things like that there was a commercial while back that had that showing uh, how it the ripple effect you help someone they help someone then they the person you helped help someone then the person the next person helped help someone like the zipper effect with you merging you merge one car then the other then the other I had a video about that zipper effect, the zipper merge, but like the song, you, then me, then you, then me, that's the way it's supposed to be. If we're all helping others, we can help each other and feel good and, and the depression might go away. We're depressed about so many things like a, a death in our family, um, someone really hurt us bad, uh, things you told someone and and then they use it against you. But you can't believe it because you believe they loved you so much. <laughs> you know, let's just try to start with little things like returning our grocery cart either to the cart return or back into the store or at least to the front of the store in that open area where it won't run into someone's car or worse. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm not sitting in the sun, so it's sort of shady here, but it feels good. The, the high today is probably close to 80 so but it's cooler we have got here it was in the 90s yet here in florida today's the last day here in florida we're going to be traveling back to uh, alabama tomorrow alabama sweet home alabama prattville and my granddaughter says prattville so yeah i just hope you're having a wonderful day like i said and that you keep dancing and keep singing and thank you for watching my YouTube channel and liking my videos and I appreciate it and I'm going to be doing a lot of different videos. We're going on a cruise in December. It's October 2023 right now and I just hope you're having a great day and that you just keep singing and dancing.